the first type of parallel robot is delta robot. This one has motors at each of these sort of like shoulder connections and then the rest of the, the other joints are just passive. The math here looks a little bit complicated, but if you know the position of the end effector, then it's actually not too hard to calculate the position of each of the joints. We'll look at a video of this one. Delta robots are used a lot of times um, in pharmaceutical industry or the food industry for packaging things. We'll see here, candy packing, uh, pancake stacking, packing salami in, or like little tubes, even cigarettes into packages or in the electronics industry for placing PCB components. They're a lot more faster and more accurate than humans. So if you've got to get little tiny things to fit into certain grooves, Parallel Robot will do it the same every time and can do it super fast. We'll look at a couple videos of this. This is the Delta Robot stacking pancakes. You can see those pancakes are all coming down on the conveyor. It's got to line them up and then it can even stack things on top of each other to get a certain number in each pile. You can see there's this, just this one robot doing it and there's no way a human would be able to stack that fast. I don't know. I've seen some pretty impressive uh, manual labor videos on YouTube. <laughs> Mostly in China. Well, the, you know, the robots also don't complain. Okay, so now we'll look at a different video. So here it's got those little white things coming down the conveyor line and it's got to stack them in each of those little ice cube trays.